Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Can you believe this is our last night of club? <laughs> this has been a year uh, we'll never forget. It's definitely been different, but you know what? It's been good because we've shared God's word and we've gotten a chance to be together and make new friends. And, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you to our parents, our families, our kids. Without you guys coming, we wouldn't have had a club. And thank you to our leaders who week after week came and uh, were so faithful to love and minister to our kids. Uh, I know it's been different, but God's allowed us to be able to, to finish up. Thank you for letting us um, be able to come into your home and, and tuning in and, and watching and sharing with us even these last few weeks over video. So, boys and girls, does anybody want to see what our good friend Cubby Bear is up to? If you'll remember last week, him and Timothy were getting in a little adventure with Cubby Bear Creek, so I'm kind of curious to see uh, how all that turned out. Let's call him on three. One, two, three. Cubby Bear! Hey! What's up? What y'all doing? Hey, boys and girls, I'm so happy to see y'all today. So, Cubby, we're all very curious. How did you and Timothy get out of Cubby Bear Creek safely. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, our good friend Katie saw us drifting in the boat in the creek, and she went and got Timothy's dad, and he helped us get out safely to dry land. Oh, that is great news. We were worried about you. I'm so glad that Katie found you. She's such a great friend. But let me ask you something. Did you and Timothy learn a lesson from all of this? Oh boy, did we ever! We learned to always, always, always obey the rules. Timmy has, Timothy, he's got to stay inside today, and I won't be able to play with him because we learned that rules are meant to keep us safe. Well, I'm so glad that you all are safe. Did you know that tonight is the last night of club for this year? No! I've been so busy with all of our adventures that I completely forgot. But I want to tell all the boys and girls that I've had so much fun with them this year. And I hope that they have a great summer. And I know that some of you will be moving up to Sparks next year. And some will be back with us. I love each and every one of you. And I will miss you so much. Good luck to everybody and always remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye. Bye, Cubby. We love you too. Have a great summer and be safe. Hi, Cubbies and Puggles. I'm so glad that Timothy and uh, Cubby made it out safely from P Cubby Bear Creek. And um, they did learn a valuable lesson to obey your parents. And and obey the rules. And I want to go over just a few lessons. We taught so many this year, but I thought these were some of the uh, key ones uh, that I wanted to share just as our last night with us. And remember back to probably the very first night when we showed you the Bible and we wanted you to know and continue to know that God's word is true. Cubby Bear and all those lessons were great, but they are make-believe and they're fun. They teach us a good lesson, but God's word is true. You can count on it. And something else, our uh, motto that we learned from the very beginning is that Jesus loves you. Remember this lesson? We go, we're going way back here. Of course, Jesus, uh, the kids were coming uh, to Jesus, and his disciples said, no, Jesus doesn't have time. He has all these important things to do. But what did Jesus say? He said, no. Bring those kids to me and look how happy they were and how happy Jesus is uh, when the kids come to you. And so that's, that's what we want you to know. Jesus has time for you because he loves you. Another thing we learned, this was our A. You probably hadn't seen this one in a while. All have sinned. A. Romans 3.23, it tells us, For all have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. Sin is anything we say, think, or do that disobeys God. Remember our C? C is for Christ. There you go. 
Romans 5, 8 says that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And we've just recently been talking about this a lot with Easter season. And Christ, why did he have to die? He had to take the punishment for our sins because he loved us. But you know the best news there, he didn't stay dead. He became alive. He rose again. I love this picture of Mary when Jesus said, Mary, she recognized it was him. And she was so happy. Went and told everybody, Jesus is alive because Jesus is our Savior. And that's one of the most important things I want us to really understand and know. He's our Savior and he's also God. Remember this one? Jesus is our king. Jesus is our king. And so cubbies, parents, grandparents, anybody at home, have you made Jesus your king? You can. You can do it today. We just have to admit that we're sinners. We've all sinned. We know that. We have to tell Jesus, I'm a sinner. We have to believe everything we said, that Jesus did die on the cross. He did raised on the third day and he loves us ask him in your heart and confess your sin and what will happen uh, we'll repent we'll be sorry God will help us to change we won't want to do those same things over and over again he'll help us uh, when we sin we'll feel guilty Jesus will come in your heart if you just trust him if you just ask and that's what he wants to do today so we're going to sing a couple of our songs uh, we're going to do one, two, three, and our Cubby Bear theme song.
thank you so much for being a part of our uh, one year this at Rainbow Forest Baptist Church, and we hope you have a great summer. We look forward to seeing those who'll get to come back from Puggles and Cubbies next year, and we'll be uh, right here. And uh, uh, for those who are moving up to Sparks, we know you're ready, and you're going to do great. So have a great summer. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.